Hello, and welcome to the Rambling Gentleman. Now I am aware that to start a YouTube channel in 2022 and hope for a financial gain is nigh on impossible. So this will be very much a honest rambling channel, not for gain, not for anything like that, just uh, another one of the many, many thousands of review channels. And who are you? I hear you scream. Well, I am just another one of these review channels, but I have a monocle. And today I will be discussing the recent promotional work trailers surrounding the Halo series from Paramount Plus. Because if there's one thing we all have, it's a Paramount Plus subscription. Why wouldn't you want to watch shows such as Basketball Wives, Combat Trains, Documentary on Adele? Why not? But I digress. Back to a Halo. Because it's now a singular Halo. Have they lost it? I don't know. Where are the others? Who knows? Why? What is happening? Mm. Now, what I want to do is take you back to a young me, top hat, moustache, at the age of nine, going up to my friend Richard's house. This is Richard's house. We climb up the stairs with excitement. What are we going to do? What, what's, what, what's the plan for today, Richard? Up the stairs we went. Excitement brewing in my head, for I knew what was in the attic. Climb up to the nicely converted attic. Go along, and there it was. Sat on the floor, the Xbox. The original Xbox. Take out the shiny disc for Halo. Combat Evolved. Greatest, greatest game of all time. Put it in, the excitement building in the air. The lights would dim, and there it was, the main menu. The main menu had arrived for Halo, and the unrecognizable soundtrack. Phil Collins. And I know, you're thinking, this feels so familiar. Where has this happened before? A massive gaming franchise that have released the first trailer and not included any of the original soundtrack. God, even though I'm a man of God, now dear, we all know what happened to Assassin's Creed. Nobody watched it. Nobody watched it. Nobody cares. Nobody saw it. I don't think I finished it. Nobody watched it. We all know why. We know the people at the top making the decisions when it comes to soundtracks and trailers and what promotional material to release are not the gaming type. They're not sitting at the weekends on the PlayStation, the Xbox, watching these sort of things, playing these sort of things. They're doing other rich people stuff. So naturally I thought I'd do some research. Who are these high up executives involved with the Halo series? What newcomer have they brought in that might not be quite aware of the background of Halo? Maybe it's their first time in this sort of high up role. Let's have a look. It's it's Steven Spielberg. This this is very different from the way Spielberg releases theatrical stuff normally. A big hype, big excitement, lots of press. But this trailer just fell off. So naturally, I googled, "Is Steven Spielberg okay?" Oh, okay. Now we all know Steven Spielberg is not on the ground every day, he's, his name is attached to the Halo project but he's not on set directing, he's not in the room necessarily making the, these, these decisions when it comes to the trailers and the soundtrack being used, that's being made at another level. Still a high up level, but another level completely. So you have to wonder, how did that conversation go? What happened in that room where someone who's paid far too much money made that decision about putting this on this. Sir, you know how we're about to release the Halo trailer? I. Uh, apparently it has an award-winning soundtrack. Literally hundreds of awards. Apparently it's very good. Hmm. Phil Collins. Sir? Phil Collins? 
Are you, are you having a stroke? Phil Collins. Phil Collins. So moving on from the soundtrack issues, we've got the voice of Master Chief, Steve Downs himself. For reference. Now, we all know Steve Downs is 71 years old. He's not going to be donning the Master Chief suit, the helmet. He's not going to be on the ground himself. We know that he's not going to be acting in the suit in the show. But we don't want that. We just want it to sound like Master Chief. Because Master Chief doesn't take off his helmet. He doesn't take off his helmet. He doesn't take off his helmet. So it doesn't matter who voices him. I could voice him. I have a terrible voice. My accent fluctuates every time I film. Does it matter? I'm not Master Chief. I'm not going to do it. Steve Down should do it. So now you've got a fan base who do not recognise the sound of the game. They don't recognise the voice of their game. The main character, Master Chief, appears to be taking a back role from their own marketing material and their own press statements. It seems to be Master Chief taking a back role. It feels like Paramount have paid $40 million for the word Halo and the Master Chief suit. Which makes you wonder, who is this for? If it's not for the original fans, who is it for? Original fans have lost interest. Normal non-Halo people aren't going to be dragged in by this thing with Phil Collins. It's like, what age demographic are you going for here? You know, the younger demographic are the people that played the game. The other demographic of slightly older people like Phil Collins. But you've made this for neither, it seems. Who's it for? Now we all know with large properties like Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, fan bases are divided right down the middle. Half of them love it, half of them feel like their vision has been betrayed by big companies that just want an easy cash in. But with Halo, it feels like everyone is united. Everybody has simply turned around, went to Paramount and said, this is not what we want. And that's fine, because people don't want things sometimes. And it's fine not to want something. But then I have a thought. What if this is their plan all along? Paramount released Sonic the Hedgehog. We know that disastrous first trailer with the first look. Listen to the fans, went, we got it wrong, am I sweating? And Paramount listened. They re redesigned it, they re-released trailers, and everyone went, thank you. This was a childhood game, I love it, the trailer looks great, and I enjoyed the movie when it came out. It, it, was, it was okay, it was between okay, good, and very good. Six, seven out of ten, won't watch it again for a while, but I enjoyed it. It was good, nice soundtrack, good voice, if, if, things I wanted were there. But it's Paramount. How can Paramount release the Halo trailer doing the exact same thing as he did the first Sonic trailer? And it got me wondering, is this what they do now? Have they found a new strategy of marketing where they deliberately have a side team within their company working on bad trailers and bad promotional work so we all collectively complain the reaction kind of commentary community complain together and say this is not what we want that team's job is now done. they step aside and the real trailer which was made all along has been sitting in a vault waiting to be uploaded gets uploaded a few months down the line and they go we listen to the fans this is here you go paramount Guy. Conspiracy. So, only time will tell. If Paramount release a better Halo trailer, if they listen to the fans, they put the soundtrack in it, redesign Master Chief's voice, possibly, then we'll know they listened. Or, we'll know, it might have been their plan all along. Ooh. Now, it is very easy for me to sit here spinning in my cheap, creaking chair and insult a trailer that I didn't make. I had no input, I've had no involvement, but I have played Halo my whole life. I've played it from the start, 
to the most recent. Well, actually, no, I've not played the most recent. Because I don't have an Xbox anymore. Or a PlayStation. Whoops. But I love the world. I love the Halo universe, the gameplay, the storytelling, it, the soundtrack. Everything is there that I want from a property. And it's not fair for me to sit here and insult a trailer that is not what I expected. So below will be a link to my version using the existing footage, some old sound clips from Halo. I sh cut it down from about a two minute trailer to about 50 seconds of what I would have hoped from a Halo trailer. You know, it's, like I said, all I've done is trim bits out, condense it a bit, make it a bit more Halo sounding. And yeah, it'll be in the link below. It'll probably be the next upload after this one. If you like it, fantastic. Wonderful. I, throughout my teens and twenties, love making trailers for my only projects for other people. Like, trailers are fun to make and it was great fun to make and I'll do more of a similar nature if it's well received. If you hated it, great. Tell me you hated it because your criticism and freedom of expression is completely, completely necessary for the improvement of properties and if you insult me and tell me the trailer was terrible and it was, you know, the edits were bad or the soundtrack was not good quality, did I use a bad sound file? Tell me and then I will use that to improve because that is what criticism is necessary for so we don't get into this world that we're creeping into of lazy filmmaking, lazy executives getting away with lazy properties. They've bought the name Halo do you think people will watch it? They throw it out. It's a mess. They don't care. They've made their money back. It's the fans that lose out. So if you hate my work, please tell me and I will use it to improve because our freedom of expression and our freedom of speech are fundamental in today's life.